Hey, this is Zed Mott coming to you with my first ever narrated video. Um, I've been playing with a couple tools on my phone and I figured I would give them a shot and the reasonable first reasonable choice to do that with would be a tank medic attack of course. Um, so I'm going to show off Commodore. Um, I'm going to pause it to start with. Now Commodore is a fairly easy solo. Um, with this shore rocket launcher it adds a bit to it but not a heck of a lot. Um, what you what typically will happen is um, it's going to be a two smoke landing. It's going you're going to flare up into this neighborhood and then flare up into up by the core. Obviously, there's a bunch of mines in the way. You can clear these mines using 21 GBE typically, or you can load one boat of heavies and just have the heavies mow through the mines. Um, it's in the, I think it's like 13 smokes or something like that, and we're not looking to do big huge boosts on this op. This attack is actually an un, unboosted tank medic attack. So what we're going to do, the goal of this attack is going to be clear some mines, um, clear the range defenses, clear the front three, and then try to get some of these, um, and basically save us in the neighborhood of six to seven shocks. So let's start out. One of the things you'll notice right away is that he drops his medics in the middle. Um, if he didn't use the middle, this this rocket launcher would nuke these two boats and he'd be down without medics. So his medics are quite low level, so he made the right call dropping them in the middle. Now another thing you'll notice is that all of these machine guns up here are doing no damage at all and they're providing free GBE. Obviously he needs to avoid the cannon, but that's fairly easy to do, and he's just farming GBE right now. Now, let's speed this up, because I can't imagine watching Tank Medic at normal speed. So, his critters missed some mines somehow, who knows how those were missed, but um, anyways, continues clearing. Now, for some reason, once they get into this area, the tanks like to come into here, and then they get cho chewed up by these machine guns. So he flares back to the beach, gives himself a bit of space, that rocket launcher there is usually a cannon, but um, makes it a little bit easier for us. Now, as this as this rocket launcher goes down, he's gonna drop smoke right about now. Now you'll notice he actually smokes the medics first. Now, and this is critical because if he would have smoked the can the tanks first, the rocket launcher again would have nuked his medics. So, nice smoke. Getting, just trying to get a bit closer to the rocket launcher before that shock launcher clues, um, locks onto us. Now, the next thing you'll notice is that this flare is not in here. Because again, if it comes in here, the rocket launcher is going to kill his medic. So, staying nice and back, staying, letting the, letting the tanks move in on their own pace works out really nicely here. You still haven't really used any GBE except for that 5 for those two smokes. So, Clearing, clearing the rocket launcher, clearing the mortar. Now, once we get a little bit higher, this shock blaster is going to come into play. So he shocks that as well, because otherwise it would just chew through his tanks. So we've got all the mines cleared, we've got all the machine guns cleared, the rocket launchers cleared, um, the ranged weapons cleared. Now he's going ham on some of these mortars. He manages to get, I believe, five of them down. So we've got about seven six or seven smokes here, two shocks, and the core should go down on its next attack. It didn't, but not a big deal. Three attacks for 155 force points isn't ideal, but we're doing dead end, so we can have a couple slip-ups without any problems. Again, zero powder used on this attack. Job done. Best, best case scenario, essentially. Anyways, that's my first ever video. I figured with Crab coming this weekend, um, it'd be a good time to start. I will be doing my low-level HQ-18 um, Crab attacks and trying to narrate them, perhaps. If you have any uh, comments or suggestions, please let me know. I try and respond to comments as much as I can. Um, that's it. Talk to you soon. Bye.